for reading today. We're going to go to our reading textbook link. The link in Schoology. Once we get there, we're going to hit contents, lesson 22. Um, there it is. And then we're going to click on yesterday we did dig deeper. Today we're going to do your turn. <coughs> so the first page should look like this. Yep, lesson 22. Your turn. All right. With each story, there's an essential question. Sometimes I use that essential question as part of our reading test for that story, but this one I did not. It's a little different here. So we're going to look at it together. It says, how can traditions influence a person's thoughts and feelings? Well, we know Omicaius, right, is from a Native American group, okay? And we probably don't know a lot about that group, do we? What group is she from? What's her culture? They briefly mention it on the first page. Go back and look. So you can scroll through here with these arrows just like it was the book. We go back, I believe it was the italicized words that tell us kind of a preview of the story and what's happening. I'm almost there. There it is. Okay. Sean? Ojibwe. Yeah, this Ojibwe, right? Village. So she lives in this village, right? And it mentions that scissors and candy are rare and valued items. So what does that tell us about this village, about Omakaias and her culture? Give us a little information, Nick. They're not really that wealthy, like they don't treasure They don't have these things, right? These things are hard to find. So the scissors and this candy are hard to find. What do we know about Omakaias and what she does with that candy? Maya? Right, she eats it for, she eats all of it, right, instead of sharing it, okay? So think about her culture, right? What Omakaius is experiencing or feeling right now, okay? We know her culture, it's rare to have these things. We know Omakaius is feeling how? How is she feeling in this beginning of the story, Riker? Right, she was upset with her older sister, right, for making fun of her earlier. So how does her eating this candy and her feelings kind of relate? How did they play a role in their traditions or their culture, what they have or don't have? Kenny? Um, she was okay. gonna bring go. him home and then brag it. She, was, she thought about either bringing him home and bragging about it or just eating them all for herself. Right, so she knows, right? I'm sure she's well aware that these things are rare, right? And she's not very happy with her sister, so she kind of goes back and forth. Do I just eat it myself? Do I share it? And then she's like, nope, right? She was upset enough, her feelings affected her enough that she decided just to eat the whole thing herself, okay? What are some other traditions that influence a person's thoughts and feelings? Well, we don't know. You may not know a lot about Omakaius's culture. How can we find out about it? How can we find out about her culture? Maya? Right, we can research it, which is what I did in Google. I kind of typed, I typed in her culture and this is what came up. And if I scroll down, and that, oh, let's see where I found that paragraph. I don't see it. Here's part of it. So among the Obijue, honor and prestige came with generosity. What are honor and prestige? What do those mean? What was Omakaius looking for? Kenny? Um, they mean like you're giving respect and like that. Yeah. 
respect, right? Honoring somebody, which is what Omakaius was looking for, right? Came with generosity. What does generosity mean? What's that mean, Sean? Um, kind of, um, kind of like, Juliana, what's it mean? Generosity means being kind, being generous, right? You're giving. Then it continues to say that their culture and society were structured around reciprocity, which is the same thing, okay? Gift giving, playing an important social role. So think about Omakaius and the decisions that she makes and her feelings. How did those things affect what she did, Sean? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, because I know when you look at that question and it says, how, do, how does a person's feelings and thoughts, how are they affected by their traditions and their culture? We don't think about it, but how we're brought up and what we do and what we believe in affects some of our actions, right? So how did they affect Omakaius? Kenny? Um, they affected her negatively because in her tribe, um, if you wanted to be respected, you earned that by being generous and she wasn't generous. She okay. Was the opposite. Right. She was trying, she was in a way with the candy being selfish, yeah. right? Kind of greedy because she was upset. What else could you say about Omakaius and how her culture affected her? What was she wanting to do to gain that respect? What was she willing to do to gain respect from her sister? Here it's talking about generosity and gift giving, right? That was important. What was she wanting to do to gain respect from her sister? Nick? She wanted to really go more closely with, uh, yeah, we started with the berries, right? She was like, I'll pick some berries, I'll take them back, I'll share those. She's being generous, right? Giving those to her sister. But then she realizes maybe that's not enough. So this tradition, right, <coughs> this cultural tradition kind of pushes her to do something else, something a little more risky. Because she's so upset, right? She really wants to win her sister sister over. Ava, what does she decide to do? Yeah, she says, you know what, bear cubs. That's the way to go, doesn't she? Okay, that's a definite way to be generous and gift and to give gifts, right? to show that I deserve that honor and prestige, to show that I'm important and that I'm capable of doing things, okay? So that might be part of why she decided to do what she was gonna do, right? Mm -hmm. We also decided she probably learned a lesson. What did she learn when she did that? Oh, let's see if I'm my right link here. There we go. What did she learn, Sean? Right, don't mess with those wild animals and think before you act. So she didn't take into consideration what could happen, right, with that big gift, with that big, the risk she was taking to get those bears. So the berries were probably a better idea, weren't they? That probably would have made her sister happy. Okay. Kenny. Don't read a book by its cover because in this story, she thought that it would give some she did she kind of jumped to a conclusion didn't she without really thinking about it again she's like oh the bears are here there's no mom around and there was wasn't there yeah. okay, kind of jumping to conclusions again um i think we talked about these how do omakaius's feelings about her sister relate to her experience with the bears oh we kind of talked about that one Oh, what details from the story show Omakaius's knowledge of her environment? Oh, we didn't talk about that one. Let's talk about that. We talked about those pictures and how they give us an idea of where she's at. She's in a very wooded area, right? Forested area. Okay, where you would definitely encounter some bears and berries and that kind of stuff. So how do we know she's familiar with her environment, with that area? Always go back and look. Look at the story. Look at those pictures. How do we know she's familiar with it? Maya? Um, okay. So she gives us some examples of things she's already done, right, with her sister, the hunting, the fishing, 
What else? Adam? How do we know she knows it a lot? Okay, she doesn't appear to be lost at all, even when she encounters those bears, right? She's aware of her surroundings, okay? She's not afraid because she's lost. She's more nervous when the mama bear appears, right? Okay, so she seems to be familiar with them. Good. Sean? Um, I have two. Sure. Okay, and so she, she was, was sent on that errand, yeah. wasn't she? And she knew her way around. Okay. Um, yeah. And number two, I'm pretty sure somewhere in the book it said she knew where the berries were. Okay, I think she does mention that she knows where they are. She eats the candy to keep from eating the berries. She knows she's going to come across. So that does tell us she's familiar with the environment. Yep. Go ahead, she Kenny. She stays calm, like, when she encounters the bears and, like, if she's... If she knew that was a possibility, if she encountered bears okay. before. Okay, yeah, so she, we, it seems she's probably been around them before or has seen them at least because she's not too frightened until Mama Bear comes around the corner, right? All right, talk about theme. It says, list and discuss. Omakaias forms a special bond with, with the bear cubs. She shares her berries with them and imagines taking them home. What does her interaction with the bears show about her? I'll start with that question. What does her interaction with the bears show about her? I think we might have touched on it a little bit. Adam, go ahead. She's not really scared. Yeah, she's not. We kind of mentioned that, right? She's not frightened by them. Okay. I think most people would try and get away, right? But she approaches them, doesn't she? Okay. What does that tell us about her? What kind of quality does she have? I mean, that she approaches these bear cubs with berries instead of kind of being frightened and run off. Juliana? Bravery. Bravery, sure. You might say she's courageous, right? Not necessarily something I would have done, but, and we know she's probably been around them before, right? Maybe seen them in a distance. So she's familiar with them. How does it relate to the theme of the story? So her interaction, how does it relate to the theme of the story? How are they connected? Maya? Right. Yeah, she thinks taking them home is a good idea and doesn't really think through what could happen or what else is around. She kind of loses, loses focus, right? All right. Well, I'm going to go here to the next page. This is where we're looking at today. So your assignment is going to be this here, this right about reading. There's a, sub, a spot to submit it, okay? But let's talk about what you're going to do here first. As I continue to grade some of your open-ended questions, so those are questions that aren't multiple choice, they're not true-false, okay, they're not fill in the blank, it's open-ended, meaning there's probably lots of lines there, there's lots of space for you to write something, okay, I'm still seeing many of you write one sentence. Will one sentence get full credit? No. No. Okay, you probably need at least three. Your answer and then some supporting evidence. Okay, these last ones I graded, the comprehension worksheet, which you can open up in submissions and see. And if I didn't give you full credit, then I tried to type in some information to let you know you're missing evidence. Okay, maybe I needed to know more specifically. Um, you might have missed a question. Okay, some of you just put that your evidence came from certain page numbers. Okay, think back to when we were doing inferences and explaining our answers. Did I just put page numbers up there? No. No. I said in the text, the text stated this, right? Another example is, so page numbers aren't going to work. I need the author's words, okay? When you're citing something for a research paper, like you're getting ready to do with Mrs. Bush, you might be putting in page numbers then, because you're going to state the words, and then you're going to give a page number that you found that information on, okay? So just giving me a page number for evidence isn't going to work. So for this one, I'm looking for more of a paragraph. It's not going to be three sentences. We've talked a lot about Omakaias. We've talked about her culture. We've talked about the theme and what she learned, who she is. So we're taking all of that, and we're going to write about, about Omakaias. It says, how do the descriptions of Omakaias' thoughts and actions provide clues about her character? So 
We've talked about some of that, right? We've talked about the things she's been doing, what she's been thinking about, her motives, okay? Write a paragraph describing the author's characterization of Omakaias. Let's talk about this word, characterization. What does that word mean? If you're characterizing somebody, Kenny, what are you doing? Like characteristics. Yeah, like their characteristics, okay. Riker? Um, it's kind of like what the character has or does. Okay. Yeah, what they, what they do, right? What they say, what they have. Okay, her actions. What are, what things are motivating her to do these things? What qualities does she have? Okay, characterization. Um, include text evidence. So text evidence, words from the author. Okay, the text states this. Another example is, we have some sentence starters back there. They should also be written in your notebook. Okay, proof of this is, so those are some sentence starters when you're giving me text evidence, such as quotations and details that help you make inferences. What's an inference? What's an inference, Juliana? <coughs> right, information and what you know, right? You coming to a conclusion, thinking of an answer or a new idea about Omakaius's traits, so back to the characterization, her qualities, such as her courage or her respect for nature. Okay, I stopped a lot. You're gonna to wanna to reread that again without me stopping and interrupting. I wanna make sure you understand all those questions, okay? You're gonna read it again on your own. Okay, you can type it in Notability and then submit it. You can hand write your paragraph and take a picture and submit it. Um, I wouldn't, because it's a submission. So if I go to reading lesson 22, oh, where's it at here? Right here, lesson 22, write about reading submission. So when you click on it, oh, maybe, there it is. So you add a submission, right? I wouldn't just click on that submission tab in the green arrow or the green plus sign and start typing because what's going to happen when it's time to move on? John, what's going to happen? Um, you can't save it. Yeah, it doesn't save it. So I would either use Notability or paper, okay, and then I would, if I use Notability, you can copy and paste it into the submission, okay, or send a, submit a screenshot, all right? I wouldn't type it right into Schoology because then it's not gonna necessarily save it. And if Schoology kicks you out or does something funny, then you gotta start all over, okay? So notability, write it on paper, and then submit it. All right, questions on the assignment for reading. Let me find our page again here. So this is what you're doing, okay? about answering those questions. It says a paragraph. How many sentences is a paragraph? Six. Jackson? Five. Yeah, five to seven. It can always be more. Five is probably the minimum, okay? Because they're asking you quite a bit here. So you're going to take your time and work on that now for reading. <clears throat> 